Have you ever pondered the mysteries of the universe? Ever wondered if just as things can vanish into black holes, could something emerge from white ones? Imagine the universe, a vast expanse of space stretching out in all directions, filled with countless galaxies, stars, and planets. It's a realm so immense that it's almost impossible to comprehend. Amidst this cosmic panorama, there lurk mysteries that have puzzled and intrigued scientists for centuries. One such enigma is the concept of white holes. We're all familiar with their counterparts, black holes, regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. They're mysterious, awe-inspiring, and a bit terrifying. But what if we told you there's a flip side to this coin? Enter the white hole, a theoretical region of the universe where the rules are turned on their head. Instead of an insatiable cosmic vacuum, a white hole is the celestial equivalent of a fountain, a place where matter and light can escape, but nothing can enter. It's as if the universe decided to create a perfect balance, a cosmic yin and yang, if you will. The fundamental understanding of a white hole is that it's the exact opposite of a black hole. Instead of a gravitational pull that swallows everything in its path, a white hole spews out matter and light, a beacon in the vast darkness of space. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. But you might ask, how can something like this exist? It defies our everyday experience of the world, doesn't it? That's the beauty of our universe. It's filled with phenomena that stretch the limits of our imagination, making us question everything we know about reality. The existence of white holes might seem like a tale from a science fiction novel, but what if we told you they might be real? The discovery of white holes didn't come from a telescope or a space probe, but from the equations of general relativity. Yes, you heard it right. The concept of white holes, the enigmatic twins of black holes, was first introduced not through observation, but through mathematical equations. Diving deep into the archives of theoretical physics, we find that the idea of white holes was born from the exploration of Einstein's field equations of general relativity. These equations, which describe the fundamental interaction of gravitation as a result of space-time being curved by mass and energy, surprisingly hinted at the existence of these celestial oddities. Two brilliant minds, Igor Novikov and Yakov Zeldovich, played significant roles in this discovery. Novikov, a Russian astrophysicist, was one of the pioneers in the field of black hole physics. His work on the properties of black holes led him to the theoretical discovery of white holes. Zeldovich, another profound physicist, contributed immensely to the understanding of these enigmatic entities providing a theoretical framework that further supported their existence. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is a white hole? Well, imagine a black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Now flip that concept on its head. A white hole is essentially the reverse of a black hole. Instead of sucking everything in, a white hole spews out matter and energy, allowing nothing to enter. However, it's important to note that while the mathematics of relativity allows for the existence of white holes, we have yet to observe one directly. This is because, in theory, white holes exist in a universe that is perfectly symmetrical, and our universe is not. The lack of observational evidence doesn't negate their existence but merely heightens the mystery surrounding them. While we haven't seen a white hole yet, the equations suggest they could exist, leading us to our next question. How? This question takes us further into the realm of theoretical physics, where we explore the birth and existence of white holes, a journey that promises to be as fascinating as it is complex. If white holes do exist, how might they form, and what would their existence mean for our universe? Let's dive in, shall we? White holes, the theoretical opposites of black holes, are a fascinating concept that has captivated the minds of scientists for decades. Theories abound about their creation, but one of the most fascinating proposes that white holes could be the other end of black holes, connected via wormholes, those shortcuts through space-time that we've all heard so much about. Imagine, if you will, a black hole gobbling up matter on one side with a white hole on the other end, spewing out that same matter. It's a mind-bending idea, 
isn't it? This would mean that black holes and white holes could be gateways to different parts of the universe, or even different universes entirely. But what would the existence of a white hole mean for nearby planetary bodies and beings? Well, as white holes are believed to spit out matter and energy rather than absorbing it, they could theoretically have a significant impact on their surroundings. They might cause dramatic shifts in gravitational forces, which could lead to cataclysmic events such as planetary collisions or the creation of intense radiation fields. Now it's important to note that these are all just theories. To date, we have not observed a white hole, and their existence remains purely speculative. But if they do exist, they could challenge our understanding of the universe in profound ways. They could upend our current models of physics, force us to rethink our ideas about the nature of space-time, and even provide new insights into the origins and destiny of the universe. However, even if white holes do exist, they wouldn't be eternal. Just like everything else in the universe, they would have a lifespan. Theories suggest that they might eventually collapse under their own gravity, or slowly evaporate over time, releasing their energy back into the cosmos. The existence of white holes could challenge our understanding of the universe, but their life, like everything else, would also come to an end. Every stellar entity, no matter how extraordinary, has a life cycle. But how does a white hole meet its end? In the vast celestial ballet, the death of stars often takes center stage. They may become white dwarfs, neutron stars, or even black holes. But what about their theoretical opposites, the white holes? How do these hypothetical celestial bodies meet their end? Theories abound as scientists and astrophysicists grapple with the enigma of white holes. Some suggest that white holes may simply cease to exist after they've expelled all the matter and energy they once contained. Others propose a more dramatic ending with the white hole collapsing under its own gravity to form a black hole. One popular theory involves Hawking radiation, named after the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking proposed that black holes slowly lose mass and energy over time through a process now known as Hawking radiation. Could this same process apply to white holes? If so, a white hole might gradually evaporate, its energy dissipating into the cosmos until nothing remains. But what would be the consequences of a dying white hole? Again, theories vary. Some predict that the death of a white hole could trigger a massive burst of energy, similar to a supernova. This could have significant impacts on nearby planets and celestial bodies, potentially causing widespread destruction. Others, however, argue that a dying white hole might not be so destructive. Instead, it might simply fade away quietly, its energy gradually dispersing into the surrounding space. The effects on nearby celestial bodies might be minimal, perhaps even undetectable. Yet, despite these theories, the truth remains elusive. The existence of white holes is still purely theoretical, and their life cycle, including their death, is largely speculative. We are, after all, still in the early stages of understanding the immense and complex universe that surrounds us. The death of a white hole remains a topic of speculation, a puzzle piece in the grand cosmic jigsaw. As we venture further into the cosmos, we continue to unearth its secrets, one enigma at a time. As we've journeyed together through the mysteries of the universe, we've discussed the perplexing phenomena of white holes. These celestial curiosities, almost a mirror image of their darker counterparts, have been the subject of much scientific speculation. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? That these theoretical entities, ejecting matter and energy instead of consuming it, could exist somewhere out there in the vast expanse of our universe. We've delved into their discovery, a product of Einstein's theory of relativity, yet no direct observation has been made. We've pondered their birth, their existence, and even their potential death, each concept more intriguing than the last. We've explored the possibility that these white holes could impact nearby planetary beings and how they could, in theory, be linked to black holes. But as with many mysteries of the universe, there's still so much to learn, so much to discover. Theoretical knowledge is the beginning, the foundation, but it's through direct observation and tangible evidence 
that we truly begin to understand. The universe holds its secrets close, revealing them only to those who dare to look, to question, to explore. And perhaps that's the most thrilling aspect of it all, the not knowing. The anticipation of what discoveries lie just beyond our current understanding. The thrill of the chase, the pursuit of knowledge. It's what drives us to keep exploring, to keep asking questions, to keep pushing the boundaries of what we know about our universe. The universe continues to astound us with its mysteries. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned as we explore more of these cosmic enigmas. And if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Until then, keep gazing at the stars, and who knows, you might just spot a white hole.